Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to a pretty different type of video. Now, I know that I've been saying that uh, for the past few days now, kind of, uh, with all these, or, well, sorry, for the past few weeks, actually, uh, for all these videos that, that I've been making, but uh, like I've been saying, I kind of want to try to do things that are, like, kind of off the wall and different, and this is definitely one of those type of videos. I actually just got back uh, from the thrift store, and as you can tell from the title, we got this PC right here, and this thing cost me $5, and it came with, um, pretty decent specifications, and for $5, I couldn't really pass it up, and so we're going to be testing that out in this video, and I also, um, while, uh, like, while we're, we're kind of talking about that, I also want to mention, uh, some other things that I got from that same thrift store, and from some other thrift stores that I visited in the past few weeks. So, this right here, as you can see, I'm just going to zoom in on, on this little tag here that they had. Uh, this is a Dell Dimension 43005. It comes with a 40 gig hard drive. It, it has a, an Intel Pentium 4. It has a, a 1.60 gigahertz, or just, you know, 1.6 gigahertz Pentium 4. It has 256 megs of RAM. Uh, it, it has, obviously, uh, a DVD-ROM drive. It also has uh, a floppy drive as well, but they didn't say that. And it says that this is a bare-bone PC, or they, they should have said bare-bones PC, but whatever. And it says no OS is installed, XP-compatible computer, no monitor, keyboard, anything with it. Now, the tag over here says it was $10. Um, you can see right there, but the uh, whole like electronic section in the entire store was half off, so I ended up picking this up for 5 bucks, which is really a good deal. Um, for pretty much any computer, and especially for, uh, computers in my area, because where I live, like, and I'm sure this is with, um, uh, most, uh, Goodwills, Goodwills nowadays, uh, and this wasn't, uh, a Goodwill where I got this computer at, but when I go to any Goodwill in my area, all, all their computers, they sell for around $30, no matter what age they are, and they take out the hard drive and the memory. Which, in my opinion, is uh, kind of ridiculous, as I can understand them taking out the hard drive because you might have, you know, sensitive data, but the RAM, I don't know. I think that's just kind of ridiculous, but, and for $30, like, I saw, like, a, like an old Windows 95 PC there one time, and they were charging, like, $30 for it with, like, nothing in it, really. <laughs> Uh, besides, like, the motherboard and everything. I mean, it would probably cost $30 to, get, like, get, you know, RAM for that thing. Because it's so old. But, uh, anyway, that's not the point of this video. What we're going to be doing is actually trying to uh, put Windows XP on this. Now, they say that they don't have, uh, or it doesn't come with an OS. But, I'm just going to see if it, um, well, like, first of all, if there's anything on the hard drive. But, if not, I do have uh, this Dell, uh, um, uh, what's it called, OS CD here. And this actually came with uh, the Dell uh, Dimension 8400 that I have, which I have featured in the, uh, a few videos. And this comes with Windows XP with Service Pack 1A, which is really super old. And they don't even support Service Pack 3. Um, so this is, like, you know, really primitive compared to that. So we're going to be seeing if we can put this on here. Uh, and we'll be seeing uh, what that is, is like. But first, I just kind of want to open this thing up and just kind of show you um, what is inside of this thing. Uh, so we're going to just kind of bring the PC over here. I know I'm kind of at an awkward angle here with the camera. But we're just going to, I, I kind of plugged everything in thinking I was going to turn it on, but uh, not really going to happen here. So we're going to unplug that, and we're just going to, Dell makes it really easy on this model to get everything out, which is, which is kind of nice. So all you have to do is just, if I'm on the right side here, you just have to, uh, pull these two tabs on the side, and just, of course, now on camera it's going to be a little bit difficult, but we're just going to reach up here, and there you go, you're inside the entire computer. And at, at first when I was, uh, like, when I was looking at this thing, I was like, well, where's the hard drive at? It's actually in this little green cage right here. Uh, they actually made it so, like, you, like, I guess that's for, so it's a little bit more protected, which is nice, since it's, like, uh, kind of like on an angle, or, or like not on an angle, but since it's being uh, like suspended from, you know, the roof of the case, since it's going to be laying flat like this, which is kind of needed in in that case. Um, it has over there, I don't know why the white balance is so weird. I, mean, I don't know why that I always have problems with white balance on this camera, but uh, I am looking into, you know, getting like a whole new camera soon, but uh, anyway, so yeah, the, that's the hard drive over there, um, over here is this, uh, DVD drive, CD drive, cause it's like, you know, all in one, and, uh, the floppy drive right below that, which, 
Uh, not sure if that works. Usually floppy drives this old uh, have problems, but well, we are going to test that out. Uh, right here we have, I think right there actually is where uh, the Pentium 4 is because that looks like uh, kind of a CPU cooler kind of thing. Or no, actually, let me see. No, 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 actually, that's, sorry, that's completely wrong. I think, I think it's right here. That looks kind of like where the CPU would be because I can see like under there that there's like a heat sink. So yeah, that's, that's probably where the CPU is. And then I think that is just like case cooling right there. Um... And then right here we have this is this is actually uh, like there's a bunch of different cards in here. If, if we look on the back of this computer, you can see there's like all those card slots. Um, I'm not sure if those were user installed or if they were like you know there from the factory, but we do have uh, it looks like an Ethernet card, a, uh, a modem card with two ports. Um, obviously, like uh, the power supply is under that, and that's actually probably what that fan is for over there because I think that the power supply is just like longer. Um, so yeah, that's what that is, and then we obviously have uh, all your motherboard ports right there, um, and all, you know all your wonderful cables and everything. So yeah, that, that, that's just a quick little tour of the inside of this machine. I'm just gonna close it down, and again, really nice design on this computer. And I, I'm not just saying that because I bought it, obviously, but I just I, I just think this is a really cool uh, little design. And you know, Dell is kind of known for making weird case designs. Um, but this is, I, I just like how it just opens up that, that, that easy and you can change everything out. Um, yeah, I just think that's really nice. Um, now this is a Pentium 4, so I was thinking about trying to see if Windows 10 would work on it. Because I've seen, I've gotten so many comments uh, on my video where, where I tried to do that of like people saying, well, it like works on like, 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 like my Pentium 4 and I don't know why it like doesn't work on yours. And I think it's just because the, the Dell Dimension 8400... Uh, is older or it has like an older BIOS because people were saying you could change a setting in the BIOS and it would work so um, maybe this uh, computer will have that setting I'm gonna have to look into that um, first of all we have to see if it even works so we're gonna do that right now I have this uh, this uh, Dell monitor over here uh, kind of you know appropriately I guess you'd say I'm just gonna plug in everything here I'm gonna plug the monitor cable in so that's gonna go away that flashing whatever I'm gonna plug the power supply in if I can see which way it goes in like that I'm gonna plug in the keyboard and mouse um, so there we go and I'm just gonna turn this thing around I'm trying to get a good uh, angle on a monitor here because I know I, I still don't have a capture card and I'm still kind of looking in like which capture card would be best for things like this because I, I don't really want to get one that's just you put into a computer um, and it stays in that computer because I'm obviously going to be doing this on more than one computer but I kind of want to get like an external one um, but again I, I still have to do some research on that but uh, anyway so here's the here's the monitor here let's just turn this thing on and we are booting up I'm going to try to enter the BIOS when it does turn on Dimension 4300, BIOS revision A02. And I'm pressing F2 to enter setup. And yeah, we got primary hard drive, not found. That's not good. Um, looks like it actually has the date right, which is a good sign. As you can see, it, it is June 30th, 2015. And it is a Tuesday, so that's actually really cool. How I guess the clock battery is not bad in this thing. You can see uh, what we're working with. We have an Intel Pentium. 1.6 gigahertz with a level 2 cache of 256 kilobytes um, and this is the A02 version of the Dell BIOS so I'm gonna try to see because it says it can't find like it says you see it says unknown device right there for the uh, primary drive zero so I'm gonna probably have to look into that but it has found um, the the uh, three and a half inch drive right there I'm trying to see I think this is a pretty good angle for everything I hope you guys can see everything all right um, Primary hard drive zero. Let's go into that. Let's drive type auto capacity. Can we change the capacity? I wonder if we can set. I, I guess you can't set what drive type it is. Uh, but let's just see. Let's just kind of go past that for now. Let's see what RAM we got. So it has found the 256 megabyte SD RAM, which is good. And we have uh, the 1.3 or 1 133 megahertz is the RAM speed. 
which is good. I I think that I do have uh, some RAM which will work with this thing, like maybe five, twelve, or a gig. I'm, I'm gonna have to look in my parts bin to see because I'm going to try to like you know upgrade this thing if I you know, like decide to sell it, which I'm not sure. Um, CPU it's found. Okay, so yeah, normal clock speed, 1.6 gigahertz. So that's all normal there. Um, system security. I think. I think it was this. This was the option where you would change and it would like a, like do something within the Windows 10 setup to like bypass that error we were getting last time. Uh, I'm probably going to check that later in a different video. Um, or maybe later on in this one, I'm not really sure. We've been going on for like, what, 12 minutes so far? I so I turn them all on like that and then we'll uh, escape, save. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of cuts to this video once I figure out what's going on. So it hasn't found primary hard disk 0, 1, or 1, but it looks like it found secondary hard drive 0. Oh, CD-ROM reader. Okay, so that's the CD-ROM reader. So for some reason that was disabled, so it found that. It's a Samsung DVD-ROM SD616. Okay. The hard drive, however, is not finding. What I'm actually going to do is just uh, pause the video. I'm going to see if it's plugged into the motherboard. Which I probably should have checked before, and I'll, I'm gonna come back and see what's going on. Alright, well, we had a, uh, a bit of an issue. Um, I actually, what I, what I ended up doing... My microphone will stop being weird. Um, what I ended up doing is, uh, I, I ran a few tests on the hard drive that was, that was previously in that computer, and I actually ended up taking it out, and this is it right here. It's a, um, it's, uh, a Seagate Barracuda ATA IV, or... Yeah, four, I guess, because uh, that's in um, Roman numerals. And this is a 40 gig hard drive. And what was weird is that, like, this thing, like, I, I would have it plugged in over there, and it sounded like uh, that it was, like, you know, turning on properly. And I think that this, that, that this hard drive is dead. I don't know. That's probably why uh, that it was donated to that thrift store. Um, or maybe it's just a problem because I ended up uh, like completely unplugging uh, the DVD ROM like entirely because I was thinking that since uh, that this was like working that the uh, drive was like you know s uh, was, like spinning up properly that it was maybe a, a problem with like either the power cable or the um, like d uh, data transfer cable but it turns out that even after swapping that it still didn't find it so. I, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna have to. I, I and that that hard drive in there. I I, I actually got out of the uh, Dell computer behind it, which is the uh, Dell Dimension 8400. So I, I might just put this hard drive inside of that computer and just see if it, if it even works. And if not, um, I'm probably gonna have to get a new hard drive for this thing. I, I I don't even know if that'll be worth it. And just to you know keep this around as a parts machine. But again, this thing was only five dollars. So. Um, kind of have to, uh, you know, expect things like this to happen, but, um, yeah, so I have to just figure out what I'm doing with, with that, and this thing does, besides the hard drive, it works pretty well, it is, because that, that hard drive had Windows 7 on it, so this thing runs kind of slow with Windows 7, I think that was a password for this user account, um, it is on the login screen right now, it's like running at 640 by 480 I don't really think that the graphics card uh, supports arrow or anything, but we're going to see what it does. Um, I was going to yell at me for not being genuine because I haven't activated this yet, so we're going to, to restart later, ask me later. We'll do everything later, and I don't really care about genuine on this test computer <laughs> right now. I'm probably going to put like an actual product key in here. Um, let's see if it like auto fits the uh, display. All right, and we are back after a uh, or after the camera battery just decided to die on me. Um, so yeah, that is uh, kind of the the whole situation with um, this this computer right here. Uh, that the hard drive is dead. I do have it right here again. It's a Seagate um, Barracuda hard drive. So I'm gonna probably run like some tests on this. I don't know really, but. I'm still uh, kind of baiting, but I am gonna um, try to put a different hard drive besides the one that was in uh, that like that that other Dell computer because I you know kind of want to keep that in there. I got down uh, this iMac that I have here to the right, as you can see, but um, I'm gonna probably save that for a different video because this this video says has been kind of long already. It um, I've been like actually recording for like 25 minutes, but 
Uh, I've, but I, I don't think it's that long because like I haven't stopped uh, the like audio recording at all. So, um, but what I'm gonna do is, yeah, this has been uh, like the feature of this video. But I also just kind of want to briefly mention some other things um, that I got uh, at the or at a, a few thrift stores in in my area. And you'll probably be seeing more in-depth videos on these um, in the near future. So the first off um, is, I, I'm just going to show you these right here. I got uh, some games, and these are, uh, I might not do like a whole video on these, but, um, you know, of course, I might change my mind. Uh, these are, are actually SNES games. I got uh, Donkey Kong Country, um, and this actually came like with the whole manual uh, and everything, which is really nice. Uh, so I got that. I got uh, Super Mario All-Stars, also for the SNES with the manual, so that's that, that's really nice. And Super Mario uh, World, Super Mario World right there, and it came with the manual and everything as well. Um, so those are just, I got those uh, at, a, at a garage sale, a bundle with a few other things, including an original Game Boy, which I have on my shelf up there, so it's not really... Yeah, so I got it with this Game Boy right here. You may have seen this uh, on the TeamMG.com site uh, in the console collection, but uh, yeah, that's what that's what that is. I got that along with it as well, along with a few other non-tech things for around ten dollars, which is a, a, a really good deal, and that was at a, a garage sale. Um, now I also got today. Uh, I got these two games at the same thrift store that I got uh, the uh, computer. At. I got uh, Mario Kart Double Dash which is pretty nice, set that there, and The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure, which is also really nice, and they had a, a, a few other GameCube games there, but the discs were kind of, you know, scratched on them. Um, I also got some CD slash DVD uh, sleeves. Now, there's not, I think this is supposed to be like, what? I don't know how many are supposed to be in here, but this was only like, you know, one dollar, as you can see. And I always need these because I'm always, uh, you know, running low on those because I have, a, like, a lot of discs uh, with software and stuff. Um, and a, another kind of interesting thing I got is an old uh, TI-55 Texas Instruments calculator right here. This actually only cost me $1 also. They had, like, uh, like when you walked into the store, there was, like, this big dollar bin. Um, and, and, and this was one of the first things in it, and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to kind of grab that. And I haven't really tested it. It, it uh, Well, I you know, I just, you know, like kind of plugged it in because, um, like, uh, it is portable, but it, like, has, like, a plug on it. I, I think that the battery might actually be rechargeable. Um, but this thing is really old. As you can see uh, right there, copyright 1977. So this is, like, really old um, from the uh, late 70s. Um, so I'm going to probably try to fix that up. Um, might make a video on that soon. And I also got, uh, this is probably uh, kind of interesting, I got a PlayStation 2 in this really nice kind of like duffel bag kind of thing. Um, but it's all in there, I'm not going to bother taking it out. But yeah, so I I got pretty much a lot of stuff. Um, not to mention uh, two of these power books as well. Um, that I'm going to be doing a video on soon because I have to fix those up as well. So, um, so yeah, guys, that is. I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, again, this was something completely different uh, and off the wall, but I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, what I got at, you know, like at this thrift store and things like this don't really happen. Like I don't go to a thrift store every time and find, you know, like amazing things like this. Um, so, you know, if you guys like this, and if you want to see more, I guess, like, thrift store hauls like this, um, definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments, as I always read everything that you guys have to say. Um, and yeah, I'd definitely be looking out for the video where I'm going uh, to transplant that old IMAX hard drive into this Dell computer, um, as that's, that's probably going to be coming up pretty soon, as well as just, you know, always, always great videos coming your guys' way, so... Uh, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.